Hey folks, I'm back on the Jeep again tonight. That uh, track bar issue is bugging me a little bit, and I got a reply from my uh, fellow YouTuber who gave me an idea of something to try. I'm going to uh, give it a go tonight and see how it works. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Well, I can say, let me just point the light down here better. I'm abandoning the track bar for now. And what I'm going to do is a three link, as before, if I can clear the uh, clear the uh, motor here, motor and transmission. Problem is, to cut up to the frame, up, up on the frame here, there's no way a three link will work. But what the uh, YouTuber suggested, and I think it might just work out, is bring, uh, use the factory mount up here, using the... Uh, triangulation piece but instead of going up to the frame I'm going to come back I might have to do another little doctor tap some holes and move them down but come to the uh, the uh, lower link so it's kind of going to be a kind of a hybrid three link slash track bar setup or sorry three link slash radius arm setup so we'll give that a go and uh, see if that uh, keeps the axle centered or not and go from there. So I've got the uh, mount hooked back up, it's a factory set up with the links and normally these would come up hook onto the frame but because of my uh, front mounted tranny and that it won't work so what I'm going to do is I'll get it close, I'll do some a little bit of measuring and I'm going to try my luck again uh, just rotate this up a bit and you can see kind of uh, see right in there I'll hook I'll put another flat on and I will mount it to the lower links and I'm hoping that'll uh, hoping that'll work out okay and then to adjust my pinion angle I'll just have to I can either put a nut and use that to adjust or uh, just put some washers in the shims and that'll make this connection here a little longer, a little shorter as needed. Well, I've got one side mounted so far. Uh, I was able to drill and tap that hole without too much issue. And now I can uh, get, get the axle centered. And then get this other link. I've already kind of marked it, but uh, get that other link hooked up. I actually don't even really need to center it. I've got my caliper. I measured from the uh, joint to that hole and I'll make this the same and that sh will uh, automatically center the uh, center the axle. Get that other side uh, hooked up and see if my problem is solved. Well, I got the links hooked up both sides here and uh, the front still and lo and behold if you look at the knuckles when I compress the suspension and let it droop out not nearly as much uh, bump steer. Now I do get some bump steer when I compress just this side but uh, the way I'm going to fix that, it's the same uh, way you fix on a full size vehicle. A lot of times you just get a either drop this uh, link down so this or raise this one up so that this is uh, more of in a horizontal position. I'm still quite happy with the results so uh, now I can move on to the next stage, there's not much left to do in a chassis mock-up really except build some drive shafts for front and rear and really that's about it. I'd like to throw a thanks out to Mr. Asphalt Assault on YouTube for commenting on my previous video on uh, part 5 and letting me, uh, or giving me this idea to do this because it uh, worked out well or at least good enough for now to uh, so I can move on thanks a lot